Today we're gonna to talk about something that has been highly requested and I think a lot of people are struggling with and that is how to market your podcast so that you can get more listeners. Lately I've been connecting with so many of you about your upcoming or current podcast projects which is so exciting. I always love to hear from you about whatever you're working on. So speaking of that, if you're currently creating a podcast, let me know in the comments what it is called, what it's about and what your goals are because I would just love to know. Anyway, the other day I sent an email out to my list asking you all what your biggest struggle with podcasting is. The majority response was getting listeners, which is exactly why I'm making this video today. I'm gonna share all my tips and tricks with you. If you're new here, you might not know that me and my team actually provide podcast editing and launching services for many different awesome clients. We've worked with some of your favorite Instagrammers such as The Birds Papaya and Ashley Lemieux and many other cool people too with a huge range of different podcast topics. And of course I also have my own podcast so through all of this I've gotten a lot of experience about what works well, what generates engagement, how to grow a podcast and how to keep people's attention so that they want to recommend it to their friends. And that is where my first tip comes in which may seem obvious but it is make a good podcast. But more specifically, you wanna make sure that your podcast has a very clear mission, purpose, or niche. Honestly, there are a lot of people starting podcasts nowadays that are pretty generic interview shows that are just like, let me share with you empowering stories from interesting women. And you know, that's great. And there is a time and place for that, but it can be hard for new listeners that have no idea who you are to jump in and start listening to these shows if they don't know the host, they don't know the guests. There's not a huge incentive to start listening to that. Honestly, this is a bit of a difficult area because a lot of the big influencers on Instagram that launch podcasts that end up being really successful, some that you might be familiar with, a lot of them are interview shows and they do well, but this can be misleading to total brand new podcasters because the reason why these shows pop off and end up in the iTunes charts and do so well is because of the name recognition that that person's already established for themselves. So if you have a large following already, go ahead. You can do a generic interview show where you just bring on interesting people with cool stories and you probably will get listeners. But if you're somebody even with a following the size as mine or smaller, you're going to have to work really, really hard to engage a new audience and get them interested. This is important for the marketing side because it is very difficult to market something that is sort of unclear or generic or doesn't really have an obvious value add. So make sure that when you're coming up with the concept for your podcast, or maybe you've already created one, maybe you can refine your concept to a point where you know, like, what's the takeaway? Why should somebody care? And be really honest with yourself. I think this is the basis for being successful. If you're a little too soft on yourself, like, oh yeah, people will care. Well, it's like, why? If they don't know you, like if you didn't know the person creating this podcast, would you listen to it? Just try to be really realistic about that because that is gonna be the starting point for making sure the rest of this is effective. Once you have a clear sense of what you're offering and who your audience is, then you'll be able to come up with a marketing strategy that is able to deliver your podcast to those kinds of people and get them interested in listening. So the main takeaway from this point is to ask yourself, why should someone who has no idea who I am want to listen to this show? Make sure you come up with a really compelling reason. And once you have one, then you're ready to start marketing your podcast. So one of the struggles of promoting your podcast on Instagram is that people like to listen to podcasts on all kinds of different apps. The two main ones being Apple podcast and Spotify. And so you don't want to just share the link to your show on one or the other platform because you could be then missing an entire section of your audience that wants to listen to it somewhere else. And so with Chartable smart links, what you can do is create one link that will automatically redirect iOS users to Apple podcasts and Android users to Spotify or other apps. There's lots of different options. So I'll show you how to do it. So I'm just going to click on log in on the homepage of Chartable and go into my account. From the Chartable dashboard, you can actually see all of your stats. So you can look at the number of downloads you've got in the last 30 days, your reach, all of that stuff, which is super useful because I find the statistics inside Apple Podcasts and Spotify to be a little bit limited and kind of confusing. But what I want to show you 
is actually under marketing on the left hand side if you click on smart links what you can do is actually create a new smart link so if you click on this button you can choose an episode so let's say i want to promote this one where i interviewed natasha from soul studio so if i scroll down you'll see that there's these smart rules that you can click different boxes depending on what you want people to see when they click on this link so i always check off redirect ios to apple Podcasts because i know the majority of people using iphones are probably going to want to open it in apple podcast you can also make mac redirect to apple Podcasts. you could redirect android to google Podcasts, which i don't do because i don't think anybody really uses google Podcasts to be honest so i redirect android to spotify then all you have to do is save the smart link then copy the link and you can add that to your bio or if you have 10K followers, you can do a swipe up link. The next thing you can do is start creating genuinely shareable graphics for your podcast. This is another place where I want you to be a little bit honest with yourself and think, are these generic Canva graphics that I'm making really convincing people to go listen to my podcast? And aside from just convincing people to go listen to your podcast, let's talk about whether or not it's actually helping to grow your Instagram presence. If you're just sharing like the cover art from your podcast or a logo attached to an episode title, that's not gonna be shareable. Like no one is gonna share that to their story, which is not gonna help you with your organic growth. And if it's not super engaging, probably a lot of people are not gonna be convinced to go listen to your podcast from seeing that on your feed or on a story. And so what I want you to do is actually a little bit of market research because every niche is different and every audience is different. What I want you to do is find a group of, maybe it's your followers, your existing followers, or maybe it's people that follow another account that's in your niche or a hashtag or whatever, but you wanna find a good collection of people that you can browse through their stories and see what kind of posts they share. Because we're all trying to create those shareable, viral worthy posts on Instagram, but the best way to figure out how to do that is to see what is already succeeding. So just browse through people's stories and try to take note of what kind of content they're sharing and ask yourself, why did they share this? What about it is captivating or engaging or interesting? Or what about it made them think I want to share this to my story? Create a page of notes about what kind of content is actually getting shared by your ideal audience. And then when you're crafting your shareable content that is promoting your podcast, you can make sure that it follows that set of criteria and therefore will actually be shareable by your audience. But I also wanna encourage you to not be afraid to just create some shareable content that is kind of like adjacent to your podcast, not necessarily promoting a specific episode, but just increasing brand awareness and increasing your following on Instagram. One podcast that I think does an amazing job of this is actually the Papaya Podcast, which is hosted by my friend Sarah. So I actually worked with Sarah to launch her podcast last year, which was an awesome experience. And since then she's moved over to work with Dear Media, which is really great for her. So I've never created anything for this Instagram. I just helped her get her podcast launched and I edited the the first couple episodes, but I have become totally obsessed with the Instagram strategy on this account because I just think it does a great job of not only promoting the episodes, but just growing a community and sharing the kind of stuff that the audience wants to see. You can see as I scroll through here that only every like ninth post or something is actually promoting an episode. The rest are fun memes or quotes, encouraging content that is gonna be relatable to the audience of this podcast. So don't be afraid to create and share this kind of content because this is the exact kind of content that actually gets shared to stories that goes viral, that people really connect with. Okay, I've got some serious advice to lay down for those of you that are planning on doing an interview podcast. So you are not gonna wanna miss this because trust me, this is stuff that I have noticed as somebody who has been interviewed on a couple podcasts and it's mistakes that you do not wanna make. Before we dive into that, I have a quick 45 second message from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. Whether you wanna learn more about social media marketing, podcasting, photography, or video editing, there is something for you on Skillshare. Unlike pricey in-person workshops, Skillshare is super affordable with the annual membership coming in at just about $10 a month. And that's for 
thousands of different glasses. If you're watching this video, then I can pretty much guarantee you will also love this Skillshare class that is hosted by Amanda McLaughlin, who is a podcast industry expert. For a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership. Join Skillshare today to improve your podcasting skills and keep on pursuing those creative passions. Okay, if you're planning to have interview guests on your show, here's a few things you need to prepare because otherwise you're missing out on some huge opportunities for marketing. The first thing I would suggest that I have been doing since I started interviewing guests for my Creator Club podcast, and that is after you do your interview, make sure that you follow up with an email of a couple things that you want your guests to send you so that you can create adequate marketing for your own profile. So the first thing you wanna get is a nice headshot or professional photo of them because you can use that in your feed post or if you're creating a graphic, you can feature a photo of them and you don't have to go digging for one or screenshotting an Instagram post. You'll have a good photo that they sent to you and also one that they want you to share. The second thing you can ask for is you can get them to record a 15 to 30 second vertical video clip of them introducing themselves and prompting the viewer to swipe up, check out the link in bio, whatever, to go listen to their interview. Once you get that, you're gonna post it on your own Instagram. And this is a really great way for your Instagram followers to get to meet kind of in person or at least a visual of who they would be listening to if they listen to the episode. So the way I like to do this is I will do a quick video story, maybe just two 15 second clips introducing the guest, why I wanted to interview them, why I'm excited to share it. And then I'll say, okay, and then I'll let Natasha tell you about this episode. Then I'll put in Natasha's clip of her talking about what we discussed and prompting people to swipe up. I think this is a really fun way to get people to see who this show is about and it just intrigues them and gets them a little bit more interested than just a basic graphic, right? So those are two super easy things that you can ask of your guests that is gonna help you market the podcast a lot more. All right, I feel like this video has been long enough, so I'm gonna leave it at that for today. But I feel like there is so much more I could say about podcast marketing. So if you want another video on this, maybe if you wanna see me talk about other platforms than just Instagram, we could talk about how to promote a podcast on Pinterest, for instance. Let me know in the comments below, because I'd love to make another installment of this series, I guess. If you're still in the learning process when it comes to all of this podcast stuff, I actually have an entire super in-depth series about everything from coming up with your concept to launching to Apple and Spotify. So check that out here. Just click on it, grab your notebook and get ready to learn a lot because I really packed a lot of info into that series. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future ones. It really does help me out and help me continue to grow this channel so I can keep sharing this advice with you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you over in this playlist. Bye.